Welcome back to Foul Play. Dan here, Mrs. Foul Play on the Sunny Slope Funny Farm. It is not as warm as it looks outside, is it, Mrs. Foul it's Play? Not, and it's going to be down to freezing again tonight, down to frost morning. I'm covering up my little potato sprouts because they're starting to look so beautiful. And my little culture garden bed here that I've created out of boxes and logs on the farm here and surrounded it all with chicken wire and it's working beautifully so I don't want to lose the progress that we've made. So that is for sure. Yesterday was, I think we were in at least the lower 80s. And so we've made some big changes in the foul play world. There's Mina. We got some great video of Mina coming up. So keep watching because she is really blossoming. But we still have to work every day with Mina. So I'm going to take a stroll out here. I'm going to get it from this angle right here. So there is what we affectionately call the Motel 6. And it's a long story. I'll spare you the details, but the reason we call it the Motel 6 is it's generally a temporary structure. We have the meat birds that I literally just moved from the garage yesterday. And you'll see I have a couple of heat lamps out here. Now the Motel 6 is hardly a structure <laughs> that is really uh, very storm and wind worthy, although it has held up pretty well. And you can see, I know we got a lot of shadows here, so that video is not real great. But the birds are, are snuggling up together in there. <laughs> but they're not quite fully feathered yet. Our, our meaties, I guess we call them the meaties 2.0, they're not quite fully feathered yet. And they literally just got moved from the garage yesterday. So they've been pretty sheltered. And their feathering is a lot different than our egg layers and they kind of tend to drag on the ground and and so we have some concerns about them not quite uh, being winter weather winter worthy just yet we've got some girls that have been taking some nice dust baths and it is sunny but it's not that warm out we're gonna take a stroll out here and I hear some faint quacking. Why would we have some faint quacking out here? Incidentally, chickens? I don't think so. Let's check on whoever's behind this door. Lucky there. There's our ducky doos, our boy duct tape. And his girls, we got them moved out here. Also with some supplemental heat, they're not quite fully feathered yet. And since they like to take the dip in the water, I wanna make sure they stay warm tonight. But look at these, look at these little babies. Look how big they are already. And I hear a little bit of quacking. So they're starting to mature. And before long, we'll have them out to the duck house out by the pond. The duck house called <clears throat> Duckingham Palace. <laughs> Joke of the day. Let's check on our little bitties. We also moved the little bitty babies outside to the coop. Now, since they are in a main coop, in the main coop, I should say. They are very well sheltered and they're pretty fully feathered at this point. So I'm just gonna have a little, little look-see over the top here. And you can see the white and blacks. The black ones are the ones we hatched. The white ones came with the ducks and they're pretty fully feathered and they're really good about snuggling. But the tarps in the background keep that north wind off these babies because they're still little but they're well protected inside the main coop i think i've got some girls following me thinking they're going to get a, a treat or something and there's the matriarch of the group right there 
You know her from Chicken Groundhog Day. Dixie Chixie. That's our Dix. We got some girls in the nesting box. There's Hope. She's working on one of the blue or uh, blue or green eggs. And somebody's not very happy in this nesting box. That's Liberty. She was growling at Henny Penny. She's just said, hey, leave me alone. I'm having my egg. So this is where the ducks will be eventually. And looking back behind me here is Duckingham Palace. This is a little little trail up to the duck house here. The idea is to train the ducks. We'll probably have to use some fencing, but to train the ducks to go from the Duckingham Palace down towards the pond and then back to the little house at night. I built this structure almost exclusively from spare parts and scraps except for the roof i did buy that material and we feel like this will be a good space for the ducks as they mature nina chasing butterflies she loves to chase butterflies Well, now Mina is exploring the pond. She's out in the middle of that water. Normally, all winter long, she's out on the ice, and now she's out in the water. She seems to be enjoying it. So also in the big changes in the foul play world is because of some changes in the economy and specifically gas prices and the cost of living and inflation. I have accepted a position at the same hospital where Mrs. Foul Play works or Christine works. And for a few months, I'll probably have to work full time as I get oriented to the units. And then eventually I'll be as, an ad need, as needed registered nurse there and that was a hard decision to come to but again because of the situation with the economy i don't try to make this channel political but the reality is our world has changed and so i'm going back to nursing chris says i've never really left nursing but I have maintained my nursing license for that reason, in case we do have to fall back on our skill set in the nursing world. You can see we've kind of built some trails through here too. There's a lot more trails to come. And the plan is to take trails all through the wooded area and I'm going to see if I can sneak behind the shadow of the tree where the sun is and then take the trails around to the front part of our property going that direction. But it's amazing to see it much cleared out now and it's a relief. It's been overgrown for a couple of years if not longer. So we are making progress here on the Sunny Slope Funny Farm. So keep us in mind. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all you guys. Whatever you do, stay strong, stay safe. We'll see you next time.